The play that goes wrong is coming back to the Landers Theater stage beginning March 7th. And here now is co-director Marnie and cast member Jody and ladies. Thank you for being here. How are you? Really good. Yeah. Not too banged up yeah. yet. Not too banged up yet. Hey, that's important. We'll take it. All right. So just kind of give people the general plot of what exactly this production is. It's the story of a local community theater, Cornley Polyt Polytechnic, and they're putting on the murder at Haversham Manor, okay. which is a murder mystery. This is their opening night. And anything that can go possibly wrong goes wrong yes. Yes. big. <laughs> big. 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 I'm telling yes. you, I love this show so much. I'm so excited it's coming back. Yeah, Joey's been fangirling I've been about fan this. I've been fangirling about this. <laughs> <show>. <laughs> oh. hour long. Yeah. I'm telling you, everybody, if you don't see this show, you will be so disappointed. You will. You won't even know how yeah. disappointed you are, but it's so here. good. Yeah. The first time I read the script, I was like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. This is one of the funniest things I've ever read. And physical. It is so physical. So it's physical. so difficult to put together and to put <laughs> our people through. <laughs> oh, they just, you know, we have a giant first aid kit for this show. Yes. And she is our physical therapist. <laughs> She's <laughs> going to school for that. Yes. And so everybody gets treated if they need it. There you go. That's important. <laughs> yeah. Now, Jody Ann, you are involved in the cast. So kind of tell us about your involvement with the show? Yes, yeah, so I was a part of the show last year. I was an understudy and part of the show crew. And then this year I get to return as a role as Annie, the stage manager, who's just trying her hardest to, to get the show on the you road. You've got a great role. Um, and then I've been able to help out our amazing fight choreographer, Corey, who's also in the show. Um, yeah, that's, and then just helping, helping with first aid. <laughs> yeah, and helping with first aid. I love it. Yeah. Now, something I want to hit on that you just, you just kind of mentioned is you guys did this, do this production just last year in yes. the past season. So why did you decide to bring it back and do it again the very next season? We yeah. had, they did it for, for me. Joey, <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Just for you, Joey. Joey said, please. Yeah. 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 Well, no, we had so many people that would come to the theater and say, oh my goodness, we missed it. We missed it. And we've heard nothing but rave reviews. And we thought, you know, we need to bring this back mm -hmm. while it's yeah. still fresh. We had and standing room tickets it was I stood such one. Yes. a big seller mm -hmm. so now speaking of rave reviews uh you won an award you and beth Ooh. doman for directing <laughs> and then clayton avery and jamie bauer yes. for acting in the show yes tell us about it it was through broadway world uh kansas city mm -hmm. and we we got uh for what amateur dramatics best directors there was like six or seven different people in it um, up for the award, mm -hmm. and yes, Beth and I won for for this show, yes. and then Clayton and Jamie both won acting through this show. Congratulations! So this well show deserved. won a lot of awards, which yeah. is That's great. Yeah. yeah. So I'm hearing so many good things. Let's say someone maybe hasn't seen what SLT, SLT does just quite yet. Why is this the one they should come and check out? This is probably the lightest theater. You know, a lot of it's musicals, and you know, maybe people aren't into musicals or into dramas. You know, you Fair just enough, never yes. know. This is, you can just go here and laugh and laugh and laugh through the whole thing. I mean, mm -hmm. we give you permission to laugh uproariously through the whole thing, and you will. And, and it's, not will. Like, it's not like sections that are funny. It's not no. like, you know, you go 30 minutes and there's a laugh in there. It's like from the start. The train starts derailing as soon as you leave <laughs> <Yeah>. the station. <laughs> yes. right Before we leave the station. Yeah. yeah. How long have rehearsals been? When did you guys start kind of prepping for this show? Oh, That's a January? great question. We started at the end of January, um, but we've had the script since last year. So a lot of it sure. was just spending a couple days just getting it back into our bodies. Yeah. Trying out all of the all of the stunts and everything again, yeah. just making sure that we're all still being safe uh, yes. with ourselves and others. Yeah, yeah. getting yes. a bigger first aid <laughs> kit. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We know what we need this year. More band aids. We were prepped. Yes, I love it. All right, tell me the show run dates. The show dates are March seventh through the seventeenth. Okay, and if people want tickets, more information, how can they do that? Springfieldlittletheater.org. Okay, or you can call. The Landers at 869-1334. That was a very play that goes wrong kind of thing. Yeah. Yes. I kind of loved that. Uh, yes. Morose Ooh. indeed. Yes, that was great. Well, ladies, thank you so much for being here. We're Can't so wait. excited for the show. Please come Go and check it, it out. Yes. The play that goes wrong with Springfield Little Theater. 